these frustrations they they actually knew about it so they were quite supportive during the process and when they they when when i i cracked the job because and it was due to their support so it in in part they, they were quite happy Hello everyone welcome to the show today we have with us Mr Ishan Gupta who will be joining us and sharing his career transition story with us and Ishan has done the PGP course in AI ML that is artificial intelligence and machine learning so let's go ahead know more about his transition today uh, hi Ishan a very warm welcome to the show uh thanks to thanks to be here Ishan uh so starting with the introduction uh, i am ishan i am ishan gupta and i i am from jaipur and i i was working for a i i am currently working for zs associates uh, and uh, as, as a associate consultant there mm-hmm. and uh, uh, basically in new delhi office great great ishan so let's go ahead and know more about your career transition story today so what was the motive or what was the reason behind your transition and uh, you know when did you go ahead and plan or probably realize it so the reason behind my uh, transition was quite uh, quite a easy one i was not getting the work which i was looking for in in the company uh, company i was working for earlier basically i want i was already working in a for for a for a few years thing and i wanted you know projects related to deep learning because it is it is one of the most newer technologies which is it can do and uh, i wanted more more work in in, in sense of computer vision or ma- natural language processing and i was i was not getting there so and after ga- after gaining the skills with edureka i i did did had have that you know capability to you know shift shift to any other any other position where they were offering me the the for the, the project which i was looking for that's fantastic isha so career transition definitely not an easy task not a difficult you know not a easy decision also right so how did you go ahead do that introspection how did you go ahead plan and probably organize it so yeah so definitely it was uh, uh, you know lot to take in first first is that you have to introspect whether whether you are even capable enough to do the job change a, a transition is it is it even required if yes that are, are you are you are you ready to do that change and do you have the skills that the market is demanding right at at the at this particular moment because that is that that is something which changes with you know with, 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 with the time and quite quite quickly in in these these current uh, current times where 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 people are 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 you know developing new technologies at the rate that we cannot even fathom very true so so uh, i i did that introspection and i i pinned down some of the technologies and the skills which i required so most importantly the, those technologies were related to deep learning primarily you know working working in uh, work, uh, lo- looking into some of the some of the data uh, some of the technologies that is take tensorflow as well as pytorch so these were my focus and i i did did some projects in so com- uh, computer vision so basically you know making making computer to making computer learn how to see and nlp that is making a computer learn how to how to read and write so basically these these were the focus uh, focus area for me and i i did did this uh, I, i i was gaining knowledge again and again uh, from various sources but i did take was was uh, it, the, the, the the course which i did that is pgp ai ml most was quite helpful for me to you know get 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 that get get that package in a, in a consolidated form that's great so isham uh, why did you go ahead and choose edureka Yes, so that is actually a very good question because it it, it actually uh, as, as we all know we, we are you know um, we are we are you know basically having a lot of ads thrown thrown into our places with with which which they with which which various organizations are providing courses uh, in 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 this particular domain also. But as I was comparing and looking into you know things. Uh, Edureka, the, the course curriculum which was provided to me by the by by this course provided by Edureka was the things which I required at that point of time. For example, I was primarily looking to you know uh, nail TensorFlow and learn all about it. Mm-hmm. So the 
that that package was provided to me by Eureka. So using TensorFlow, I, I got to learn how to do computer vision. I got to know how to do NLP. I, I got to know how to how to basically use them in tandem with each other and you know create create something which which I can which 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 can be used although theoretically, but practically also that that can be possible. So that is why I chose Eureka over it. And again, it, it was it, the, the course curriculum was created by one of the very best institutes in India, that is NIT Warangal. So that was an added, added bonus. That's great, Ishan. So I'm very happy to know that this particular course was uh, you know, able to fulfill your requirement. So can you tell us more about your experience during the course and how did you go ahead to your assignments, quiz and projects? So what's the kind of support that you got from Eureka? The, to, to begin with, the best thing which I felt there was the live sessions. Those were those were a you know very different thing which I which I you know looked into it. So there, there are plethora of courses already available on YouTube for free, and we, we can definitely learn from them. But it does not does not give us added advantage of live sessions. When a tutor is teaching you in a live session, and you can you know you you, you can get some doubts, you can get some help, and uh, you can get some help then and there. Correct. That, that 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 is the that is the added advantage. Also, the recorded sessions, which which can be reviewed later. So it it, it is basically the class that is being recorded and then put up. It, it it helps you to get back into the into that groove that you were there in the class and you know uh, the the uh, the the memory of it makes it much more easier to understand that that live session. Wonderful. Thank Again, you so much. Uh, I just wanted to add something more, uh, yeah. and that is regarding the support. So the support, which was the offline support, which was provided to me regarding the projects, as well as the uh, as well as the problems I was facing with the with the uh, with the portal and all the portal where where we had to do assignments. So that was the quick redressal was also an added added advantage uh, that that the course did, did provide did provide. Me. Great, thank you, Isha. And uh, one more important question, right? So, career transition definitely you will have a lot of challenges in between because you're working professional and when you're also doing this as a part of your, you know, your career, it's definitely not easy, right? So, what do you think was the most challenging part throughout this journey? Uh, well, there were two or three challenging parts here. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I I don't know if the if the list would be two or three, but let let us start here. So first is uh, first was the the course itself. Uh, so do you know balancing the work as well as the course? Although it was on weekends, but uh, the, the 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 work might seep into your weekends also sometimes. Mm -hmm. So that was that was a challenging part. A little bit of challenge, not a lot, not a lot of it. Again, uh, again, uh, then in in the course there was a particular prop, a particular section which I was quite quite you know. Uh, eager to learn as well as uh, as well as it was quite difficult for me to you know grasp even even, even doing during my graduation so that was predictive analytics or you can say statistics so how to use them so the so the live sessions and the assignments were quite challenging for me now coming to the job search or job transition you know looking looking for a job in uh, while you are already working working at one is quite difficult because you don't have the time time to you know you basically look into each and every job description and all of it. But, but that is the most important thing which which you have to do while searching for jobs. So uh, that was the most challenging part which I felt. Uh, yeah, that's it. Great. So those, were the, those, were, those were my challenges. Mm -hmm. But in spite of all these challenges, you did overcome that. And now that you are in a wonderful position today. So tell us more about how do you feel right now? Yeah, I actually feel quite uh, quite elated, and it it is not due to the fact that I it is not only due to the fact that I got a, a good job. It is that I am getting good work. There. So that that is much more important for me because I I I believe that you know a good job it might be higher paying, but but if you don't have that kind of job satisfaction in 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 in, in a very high paying job, it 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 it, it is basically futile for for a human as as a human. So uh, coming back to what, how I feel is that I feel very good here because I'm getting the work which I was looking for, and um, and that that actually makes my my family's all family also very happy. Great. I was coming to this. So what's your reaction from your peers and from your family? How happy they are about this? They they are quite happy and they they actually 
uh, they are actually quite uh, because of because of all the you know because i was not getting the 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 type of work which i wanted right. and i was working from home so they they did they, they, they were they were a part of you know they they, they did they were actually a part uh, you know in, in support of me when i was quite frustrated like i don't want to do this work or uh, it, this work is not not what i want and these frustration they they actually knew about it so they were quite supportive during the process and when they they when when i i, I cracked the job because and it was due to their support so it in in part they they were quite happy uh, and and excited even even more than me i think i if, if, if i must say that and uh, regarding the peers they were they were they were also quite good because um, uh, i i because because they they were they were they were like friends to me i, I worked with them for two years but the, the last two years as we all know what was uh, you know uh, due to the pandemic i was working from home so i was in contact with them so when i told them they they were quite uh, they were also quite supportive of the you should you should move on because because they, they also they they also knew that i wanted uh, a, a, a different kind of project and all so right. they they were also quite supportive to me wonderful ishan so career transition most of us go ahead and plan for it but not many of them are able to achieve it right so what do you think is that one blocker and how you can go ahead and overcome it so this might definitely help a lot of our viewers who are actually watching this stream right so what's your advice for them yes so in in terms of machine learning and uh, uh, deep uh, deep deep learning profiles if 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 anybody is trying to you know crack a job where they are working with these technologies i would seriously recommend that they pinpoint what they are what their special speciality would be so if if they want to work with tabular data they should they should work on tabular data and learn everything they can about about how to you know manage that kind of data if they want to work with computer vision not nlp so th- these are uh, you know a, a different different kind of domain and jobs right now do want people who are specialized in in these domains the domain knowledge although i am quite uh, even i didn't had that domain knowledge uh, so how to work with you know unstructured data that is provided in nlp how to work with unstructured data that is provided in computer vision again working with tabular data it is quite a structured structured format but what what, what all you have to there are there are specialities you know and people have to have to pin pin them pinpoint them and you know we, we cannot be masters of all you have to get a one one domain in which you can you know you know everything or you uh, not not that that is that is actually impossible but you want to you know almost all the things or you know about the things you don't know at least at least that 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 must be, must be known and regarding the skills again you have to pinpoint like what skills do you want so if you want to learn nlp so you you will have to you will have to know that how transformers work and all those things so that that might be a little little tricky because these are the uh, these these are you know the latest technologies but 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 you will have to you will have to you know pinpoint what is the exact issue again coming to like what what my procedure was like i introspected i i got to know what my lacunas were so, so i was i was lacking the skill in deep learning to get get a job uh, in 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 the position where where i will be using deep learning so that is that is something which you will have to find out in yourself and that that is quite quite personal again the third thing would be to you know find a job where your profile and your skills could could be best best used if you if you are applying for you know let us let us take an example here so if you, if you are if you if your expertise lies in python and you are applying for a job where where java is being used so you won't be considered at all this is this is just an uh, just an exaggeration which i am putting here so for example if if you are applying if if your domain expertise lies in computer vision and you are applying for a job where nlp is used so that that could be that could be you know useless you won't be even even if you are shortlisted you won't be selected again because you don't have the domain knowledge again so that that is something which which the you know future job seekers would would, would like to uh, you know take my two cents on wonderful lishan thank you so much for joining us today and uh, for sharing your experience and providing those valuable insights it was definitely a delight today to have you on this show it was wonderful talking to you so thank you so much thank you pleasure talking to you